the FBI and other agencies use to keep people off uh, airlines. And all of our clients are U.S. citizens. Uh, none of them have been charged with any crimes. Uh, they all tried to board flights and were told, you can't fly anymore. And uh, they try to find out why they can't fly anymore. They try to find out what, 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 uh, what allegations have been made against them because they want to answer those allegations. And nobody will tell them um, you know, what, what the evidence is against them or even what charges um, the government has in its, you know, in its secret files. And, and in fact, if they, uh, if, if they do manage to find somebody uh, who can talk about the no-fly list to them, the response that they get from, from those people in the FBI is that, uh, well, we can't confirm or deny that you are on the list at all. Now, obviously, they, they already know they're on the list because they show up at the airport and they're told they can't get on the flight. But there is no process under which you can, you can actually get yourself off the list if you're there by mistake. And that's not an issue of you know, people falling short of policy. It's, a, it's an issue of policies that don't take into account the very human costs of, 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 of um, either the, the, the human costs of, of, of the policies. And, and I think that's, uh, you know, that, that's, that's something that the administration has to be full Steve. for. So I think um, two points. One of them is that there is a process through which people can agree to their uh, 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 status with the uh, Department of Homeland Security. By the way, I don't work for the Home Department of Homeland Security. Uh, but the second point and the broader point is, again, we're not talking about uh, free speech and free expression here, but these broader civil liberties issues. And on those issues, uh, I think it's fair to say, well, I respect the role of the ACLU and the human rights community. They need to be vigilant that as a government official, uh, I have multiple different balancing obligations, one of which is to uh, engage in the business of protecting our community. Uh, and there are uh, individuals uh, who wake up every morning still uh, intent on doing us harm. Uh, so 